Hello guys, it's Ademola from SPSSBoss.com and in this lecture I'm going to show you how to use scatter plots in SPSS. Scatter plots are the easiest way in SPSS to look at the relationship between two variables. Scatter plots are used sometimes before you carry out uh, inferential statistics like your Pearson correlation that examines the relationship between variable or the Spearman correlation, which is the non-parametric alternative of the Pearson correlation. But the first thing we have to understand is the use of scatter plot. For example, if we're looking at the relationship between the BMI of participant and their weight, so we want to see if as the weight of the participant increase, does their BMI also increase as well? We can easily use a scatter plot, which we're going to do right now. To get your scatter plot, you go into graph, chart builder, and you can click OK. You can also do that going to graph legacy dialog and scatter plot, but let's go through the chart builder here. Reset this, and then we drag in the simple scatter plot. We're looking at the relationship between the BMI of the participants, which is the dependent variable in this case, and it's going to be going into the y axis, and the weight of the participant, which is going to go into x axis because that's the independent variable. We want to see if there's a relationship between weight and BMI. Variables, you can call this the relationship, relationship between BMI and, and you can also add, add a footnote if you want, but we're not gonna look at that at the moment. And you can close this window because we're done with this window. Now, what you're going to do now is click on OK and you should get your scatter plot looking at the relationship between those two variables. Now here, you can see that the scatter plot starts from the bottom left to the top right, indicating a positive relationship between BMI and weight. And as you can see, this relationship is almost perfect because the scatter plot is almost fitting on a straight line. You can easily put a line across the scatter plot to see the strength of the relationship between BMI and weight. Double click on your scatter plot and put this line here, which is the hard fit line at total. Had this line and you can see it's almost perfect relationship between the two variables and the R square value which is showing the regression between the two of variable is showing that 97% of the variability in BMI is accounted for by weight. We're going to go into more details about the what the R square means when we get to the Pearson correlation analysis in the inferential statistics. But this is why you actually run a scatter plot before you do the correlation analysis. As you can see, an increase in weight leads to an increase in body mass index, showing that there's a strong positive relationship between weight and body mass index. And the relationship is almost perfect between those two variables. Now you can edit this chart as you like and change the color of the dots because it's, it's very dark at the moment. Let's select the dots for example and change the color to something like green which is more colorful. Click on apply, you can see that color is changed. We can also edit this line if we want to change it to something else. Click on the line itself and change the line color line. Let's change it to red. Click on apply and that should change the line as well. You can almost change everything. You can change this variable as well from calculated BMI. All you have to do is double click on the calculated BMI itself. Click on it one more time and then you can change it from calculated BMI to say body mass index. Now that's how you change the variable name. We can change this one as well, but we're not going to bother with that. Here's another thing you can do. Because this variable is saying that the body mass starts from 40, but we don't have 10, we don't have 0, which is one of the things we can also change here. So select this number here and then click on scale and you can change the minimum to 10 and then click on apply and that should apply the changes. Now we have 10, 30, 50, 70. This is on 20 increment. We can always change that to 10. It's just going to squeeze our chat a little bit, but that's fine. As long as you can see everything, you can see that it squeezed it a little bit. So we can just leave it at 40. But I just showed you this just in case you have uh, you have looked at the relationship between your variables and you actually found out that uh, there is some people that have the value of 10 but you don't have 10. You can come to this, you can select the number, come to scale and change it here. Let me apply those changes back and it's back to what we had initially. And I can close this window and close this window as well. And that relationship is perfectly depicted 
with all the changes we have made to it so far. Now, that's how you run a scatter plot in SPSS. Just a quick recap of this lecture. The scatter plot is used to look at the relationship between two variables, and it is one of the preliminary charts that you will run in SPSS to look at the relationship between two variables before you go ahead and use the inferential statistics to find out if the relationship between those variables is actually statistically significant.